Hello everybody, this video is an overview of a mod I've just released on the Nexus called Souls Quick Menu. So, as anybody who's played Skyrim knows, there are so many weapons, items, and spells that the player can become quickly overwhelmed and have difficulty managing them all. This becomes particularly noticeable in combat when the player has to pause the game to open the menu if the item or spell he or she needs isn't bound to one of his ten hotkeys with that, which happens all the time because, you you know, any anybody uses more than ten spells. So, uh, the goal of Soul's Quick Menu is to reduce trips to the Quick Menu and thus increase the fluidity and fun of combat by making more items available using a cyclical queue. So this mod more or less exports the item menu from Dark Souls into Skyrim. In Dark Souls, the player can never pause the game. This feature heightens suspense and forces the player to react quickly to changing combat situations, resulting in a challenging but rewarding experience. The hope is that this mod will add some of these things to Skyrim by making combat less punctuated by constant trips to the menu system. So if you look at my screen here, the quick menu widget is on the left side of the screen. There's a slot for the player's left hand, right hand, shout ability, and an item or potion slot. Each one of these slots can have up to seven items in it. The player cycles through these items using uh, different hotkeys, so the basic idea is I have access to seven different items with only a single hotkey. So um, these are the different items I have in my left hand, right here. Um, these are all items or weapons that I like to use a lot, and so um, it makes sense to, to you know, I, I don't have to bind a whole bunch of different hotkeys to each one of these. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. That's pretty much it. Um, you can see how this works with uh, shouts as well. So I typically, you know, I like to use all these different shouts, and I'd have to use up almost all of my uh, hotkeys if I wanted to, to assign all of them. So with this, I can just use a single hotkey to go through all of them. And given the long cooldown of shouts, uh, cycling through to try and find your shout isn't really a problem. Uh, that is more of a problem when you are in combat and want the exact weapon, you know, in real time, which is why I would suggest only putting three or four items in your main queue here. So there's some logic to this mod that isn't immediately intuitive. For instance, uh, two-handed weapons and crossbows require both hands. So right now in my right hand queue, I have the Shield of Solitude. So if I equip that item, um, it will unequip the, the crossbow. And similarly, if I equip the crossbow, it will unequip the shield. But you just have to move forward in either one of those slots and, and to, um, to fix that. Uh, finally, there are potions, of course. Uh, this Q, uh, you know, just like the others, it makes potions much more viable, in my opinion. Uh, personally, I've never used alchemy because it's just a pain in the butt. You always have to go to the menu to use different potions that you want unless you assign them to a hotkey, which my hotkeys are usually full of other spells. So this makes it much more uh, useful. And then it also gives a uh, hotkey that you can use to uh, drink the different potions. And you can see when I uh, drink these potions, the number goes down. So um, uh, let's check out the MCM menu. To assign items in the queue, uh, you go into here. So here are just a couple general options for it. I know lots of people uh, like to have their Skyrim experience as minimalistic as possible, so if you'd like, you can just reduce the opacity to zero or turn the visibility off. Um, I like to keep mine at around 85 or 90 or so. Um, uh, here you can just change the X or Y position of the, the widget to wherever you want. Um, this feature right here makes it so that only your favorited items will appear in the uh, menus that uh, you select for your cues. This can be useful if you have an enormous inventory or lots of spells. Uh, you'll see this in a second when we look through my items. Um, and these are just your different hotkeys. So these are all the default hotkeys. I would suggest, uh, I suggest other hotkeys for this mod. The goal is to be able to move through items as quickly and seamlessly as possible, and you can't do that if you don't have hotkeys that are directly next to your uh, movement keys on your right hand or your left hand, rather. 
um, or if you don't use, uh, if you have special hotkeys for your mouse. Um, these are the default keys because the suggested keys uh, that I suggest you use are already bound to other features like uh, toggling your point of view or auto run. So you have to unassign them, and I didn't want to automatically assign those uh, to begin with. So let's look at our different uh, groups. Um, so this is the shout group. It includes all powers. So as a uh, red guard, I have the adrenaline rush here as well. And so here we have a list of every uh, shout that I know. And I can just assign different shouts that I want. Um, let's just say Elemental Fury and, uh, I don't know, Marked for Death. I never use these, but... Um, just for the sake of demonstration. Here is your potion menu. This displays all your different potions. It also, it, it displays any consumable pretty much. So if you have a bunch of, you know, crap like clam meat or, or, I don't know, chickens or ale or something, they will pop up in here as well. Um, and so that's another reason you may want to check the only favorites option, uh, to get rid of all that, that, uh, extra stuff that you may want, not want to use. You'll also notice this one button at the bottom of each menu to refresh your inventory items. You have to click this button if you get new weapons or spells to, in order for them to pop up in this menu. I wish that there was a simpler or more, uh, uh, you know, seamless way for that to just go ahead and happen. Uh, but this is the best way I could figure out how to do it. It, it takes a couple seconds because it has to look through all of your spells and all of your inventory to add, uh, new items to these lists. Um, I'm sure there is a better way to do it, but this is the best way I could I could find. So um, so yeah, there's all my uh, things. Left hand, uh, in your left hand you can assign uh, things like torches and shields. Um, you can't assign two-handed weapons. Uh, two-handed weapons and crossbows and bows have to be assigned in your right hand. So Again, you'll see here that I haven't specifically used all of my slots because your left hand and right hand, um, you know, they're the most important things that you use in combat. And the this mod will lose effectiveness if you're in combat and you are, you know, cycling through your queue trying to find the weapon that you need and it takes longer than you would like it to. So um, it may be more useful to only keep three or four items in here. So, but just for demonstration, let's, you know, let's add, uh, I don't know, Vampire's Bane and, uh, who cares? Sure. So, if we, uh, go out now, then we will see that, uh, now I have Vampire's Bane assigned here, and Stoneflesh, um, and, um, yeah, so... Pretty simple. Finally, one known issue is that not all the proper icons pop up and correspond with different uh, items in the queues. For instance, all spells just use the same destruction icon. Uh, similarly, uh, all the potions use the same icon. This has to do with the way Papyrus is set up, and uh, there I can access the different types of weapons, so I can distinguish them by that but I couldn't figure out how to distinguish spells by their school or potions by, uh, you know, uh, if they restored mana or, or health or, or something. The Sky UI authors managed to get this metadata, um, but I couldn't quite figure it out. This uh, could be something that I would add in a future uh, version, but I figured for now this mod was good enough to go ahead and release to you guys, and I didn't need to wait to figure out how to uh, fix those those minor things before just going ahead and releasing this. So uh, that's about it. I'd like to thank the authors of Sky UI. Uh, this mod uh, would not be possible without them. I used a large amount of their code, and what I did, uh, I was able to do by looking through their code and seeing how they did many of these things. Uh, and by making this mod, I also gained an enormous appreciation for the sheer volume of work they put into Sky UI. It's kind of ridiculous, uh, and uh, the, the level of the work is extremely uh, professional. So, uh, thanks to you guys. Uh, that is about it. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoy my mod. I hope that uh, this makes your Skyrim experience uh, better, more fun, and uh, combat a little bit better. Uh, and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.